and ask Ms. Grubb to give you the book I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. It's a large brown volume with black corners. Do I have to? You won't have to say a word. I've written it all down. Thank you, dear. What are you up to? Why do you need books at this hour of the night? I have a feeling the Indiana Journal might help me poke some large holes in the professor's claims. I give up. At your age, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of white knight do you expect to come running along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Griner, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does? Or Ed Gamage and that buggy of his with the removable back seat. But I'm not waiting for a man in shining white armor either. My white knight, not a Lancelot, nor an angel with wings, just someone to love me, who is not ashamed of a few nice things. My white knight, what my heart would say if it only knew how, please, dear Venus, show me now. All I want is a plain man. All I want is a modest man, a quiet man, a gentle man, a straightforward and honest man to sit with me in a cottage somewhere in the state of Iowa. And I would like him to be more interested in me than he is in himself and more interested in us than in me. And if occasionally he'd ponder what makes Shakespeare and Beethoven great, him I could love till I die, him I could love till I die. My white knight, not a Lancelot, nor an angel with wings, just someone to love me, who is not ashamed of a few nice things. My white knight, let me walk with him where the others ride by, walk and love him till I die, till I die. Zanita! Hey, Zanita! Tommy, Papa and Mama are right down the street eat goods! All right, then meet me after supper. I can't. It's Epworth League then. Me to where? The footbridge. You see? Isn't this just what I said? First the lumber yard and now the footbridge? And where will you meet me after that? The black hole of Calcutta? Ye goods! I only want to show you my invention. What invention? My music holder. For a marching piccolo player. Still has a couple of minor flaws. See, when you keep it tight enough to hold the music steady, you cut off the circulation and you can't wiggle your fingers. Meanwhile, you could go blind. Tommy, it's Papa. First thing I said or not. Gosh, George. Yes, the very first thing I said or I'll eat hay with the horse. Get that spellbinder's credentials, I said. Morning of July 4th, 19 and 12. And now look, my wife's off fancy and any all hours instead of in the home. But George. The school board is singing up straight and down alleys and attending the city matters. My oldest girl's bullying around some wild kid. And my business has fallen off so far I can't even find the balance sheet. Mayor Shin, huh? I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. Is who? 
His university. Oh, I know all about that. In fact, that's the only thing I could ever get out of him. Gary Conservatory, class of art five. If you'll just take the time to read a little bit about the conservatory, you won't have to look further. It's on page... Papa, the Wells Fargo wagon is just coming up from the depot! The, the Wells Fargo wagon? wagon? A likely story. At this hour of the day, nonsense. Uh, the Wells Fargo wagon? It could be the band instruments! The band instruments! Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is up, coming down the street, oh please let it be for me. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is up, coming down the street, I wish, I wish I knew what it could be. I got a box of maple sugar on my birthday, in March I got a great month and once I got some grapefruit from Montgomery warts in me, a bathtub and a cross-cut saw. The Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street of free paid surprise of C.O.D. It could be curtains or it could be Or it could be Yes, it could be, yes, you're right, it surely could be Something special Very, very special now Just for me I hope I get some raisins from Fresno. The DARF sent a cannon for the courthouse square. Oh, the well plug a wagon is a coming now. I don't know how I can ever wait to see. It could be something with someone who is no relation, but it could be something special. instruction in due course. In the meantime, keep off the streets, get acquainted with your instruments, and think about the minuet in G. La di da di da. One for you, Mr. Hill. But I'd better hear some by God tooting out of them horns in pretty short order, or I'll see you in front of the grand jury over at the county seat. Now, Miss Marion, about that book. Come, George, Tempest Fugit. You watch your phraseology. Go long as you want to. I've got to get something from the librarian. About that book. Thank you.
Govacha Grishanans. One Grishanan. Two Grishanans. And a fountain. Trickle, 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 trickle. Splendid, ladies. I predict that Aljo Sarge's play will be the highlighted ice cream sociable. Now, gentlemen, if you are ready, and ladies, remember what I told you. Don't make me tell you again. Always keep your face to the audience. All right, Mr. Dunlap. <laughs> It's you in the sunrise, it's you in my cup, it's you all the way into town. It's your sweet hello dear that sets me up, and it's your got to go dear that gets me down. pillow in all of my dreams to once more the morning breaks through what words could be saner or truer or plainer than it's you it's you smile girls Start her up, Mr. Washburn. Wait till you see your new steps Professor Hill taught us. All right, what'll it be? The Shapoopy! Well, a woman who'll kiss on the very first date is usually a hussy. And a woman who'll kiss on the second time out is anything but fussy. But a woman who'll wait till the third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's a girl he's glad he's found. She says, Shapoopy, 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 Shapoopy. <laughs>
Shin, Your Honor? Your daughter and I are going steady behind your back. Why? We'd rather do it in front of your back, but. Do uh, what? Oh, never mind. It's need to scare you, but I'm not. I think you hate to have your own daughter scared you. Geely Claw! I'm going to warn you once more. If I ever catch you touch my daughter again, oh by God, horse the beautiful hell won't have it! Now, George! Not one peep out of you, madam. And now get out of this public building. I got as much right in a public building as anybody. Right. How do you get any right around here? Aiding and abetting the swindling activities of this spellbinding symbol salesman? You know what I see written all over you? Reform school! Now get out! Get out, you wild kid, you! You watch your phraseology, young woman. Go home. You, Laylee. Yes, George. You I only... tend to your dance. My dance. One Grecian urn. Two Grecian urns. Three Grecian urns. I'll handle the Nita. Taking up wild kids from the wrong side of town. Mr. Mayor. Huh? If I could just make you understand. Well, you can't. And by the way, thanks for nothing. I read that book you gave me from cover to cover for a whole week now and didn't find a thing. Uh, Mr. Mayor, if you please... I'll I... settle your hash as soon as I get these premises off my oldest girl. Uh, yes. All right, huh? but in the meantime, I want you to know that I'm vouching for Tommy Gillis. That boy's got the confidence of every kid in town, and you'll be waiting in line to shake his hand by the time our band plays its first concert. By the time your band plays its first concert? The individual members of the four gather in wheelchairs on account of the broken legs that get them tripping over their beards. I'll tell you something, my fine young feathered, my feathered young fine. Never mind. Oliver, J.C., you are Owen. I wa listen. I want this man's references. I want him tonight. Don't let him out of your sight. He's slipperier than a Mississippi sturgeon. So you mean you want us to get his credentials, get his papers, or get him in jail? Couldn't make myself any clearer if I was a button hook in the well water. Come on. Professor Hill, I think Mayor Shin behaved abominably, and I think it was wonderful of you coming to Tommy's defense. Oh, that was nothing. Yes, it was. Well, a man can't dodge the issue every time a little personal risk is involved. What does the poet say? The coward dies a thousand deaths, the brave man only five hundred. Of course, the mayor was already pretty mad on account of his billiard parlor, but I'm sure a recommendation from a local musical authority such as yourself. But I couldn't ask you to do a thing like that. Oh, why, Professor Hill... You would? I'd be glad to. I, I just wish I was a little more informed. I've been meaning to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. Uh, his cornet? Uh, mother of pearl keys. I'm sure it's fine. But, but you see, he never touches it. Oh, the first week or so, he made a few um, experimental blats, I guess you'd say. Yes, blats. And, and he sings the minuet and gee da da dee dee almost constantly. Ba da dee dee, da dee dee. <laughs> but he never touches the cornet. Well, uh, uh, he said you told him it wasn't necessary. I am. Um, he mentions this, this think system that if he thinks the minuet and G, he won't have to bother with any notes. Uh, now, Professor, I... Now, Miss Marion, the think system is a revolutionary new method. I'll admit, so is Galileo's conception of the heavens, Columbus's conception of the egg, uh, globe, and Bach's conception of the well-tempered clavichord. Now, I mustn't discuss these things in public, but if you will allow me to call, I... When may I call? Why, any night this week. Pick you a taco, a little pick a little taco, a little cheat, 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 taco, a lot, pick a little more, pick a little taco. Please join a dill site committee. You are so dear tonight, dancing Mr. Poopy with Professor Hill. Pick a little taco, a little pick a little taco, a little pick a little taco, a little taco. Cheap, 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 dance like a fairy princess with a moonbeam for your floor. You've got a golden shimmer in your hair and silver shoes for all to see. We know that you will soon unfold a forgiving heart of yours gold here where a woman's heart should be. Now wait just a minute, Professor. Sorry, but we've got our orders. 
We all been deputized. Yes, well, um, congratulations. You know, all week I've been trying to give you fellows my references and credentials, but every time we seem to get off the subject somehow. Now I've just you need up in my hotel room. It'll only take me off. Sorry. Braid, I'll have to go with you. Yes. Well, let's just see if I have my key. What is this? I'm, uh, a testimonial from Madame Rini, the only female bassoon player ever to appear on the Red Path circuit. It was her stage name, of course. She was actually from Molin, Lida Rose Quackenbush. Now, can I just... Oh, you'll never forget the name. Same as the old song, Lida Rose. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose. To get the sun back in the sky. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose. About a thousand kisses shy. Ding dong ding, I can hear. The chapel bell chime. Ding dong ding at the least suggestion. I'll pop the question. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose, without a sweetheart to my name. Light a rose, now everyone knows that I am hoping you're the same. So here is my love song, not fancy or fine. I'll bravely tell you, but only when we dream again. Sweet and low, sweet and low, how sweet that memory, how long ago, forever. the sun back in the sky. Dream Light a rose, I'm home again, rose, so about a thousand kisses shy. That might have been, do I love ding, you? Ding, ding. Oh, yes, I can I hear love you. the chapel bell chime. And I'll bravely tell ding, you, ding. but only when we dream again. I'll pop the question, sweet. Light a rose, hide home again, rose, without a sweetheart to my name. Light a rose, I'm everyone knows that I am hoping you're the same. Forever. So here's my love Oh, yes, forever. Not fancy or fine.
ever stop arguing with herself? Will you ever tell him? Won't you ever tell him? Ah, yes, I know. Ah, fiddlesticks. Just open your mouth and let it all come out. Now, Mama. Now, nothing. If he ever comes to call again, you see him alone. And if you haven't got the gumption to tell him how you feel. Tell him? Well, there's nothing wrong with a little lady like Hint. Mama! Winthrop, where have you been? Fishing! Fishing? With Harold! You mean Professor Hill? Yes! And look, I found some worms left! Did you have a good time? Thrumps, yes! He told me all about his hometown, Gary, Indiana. He said he'd take me there someday. And he told me a song that hardly had any S's in it. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, let me say it once again. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, that's the town that knew me when. If you'd like to have a logical explanation how I happened on this elegant syncopation, I will say without a moment of hesitation, there is just one place that can light my face. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, not Louisiana, Paris, West, New York, or Rome. But Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, my home sweet home. If you'd like to have a logical explanation, how I happened on this elegant syncopation, I will say without a moment of hesitation, there is just one place that can light my face. Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome. But Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. My home, sweet home. I'll be back in a minute. Yo, Amaryllis, my last drug. La di da di da di da di da. La di da, la di da. Oh, leave the dishes, Mama. I'll do them. Don't you have to change for the sociable? There's time later. Shins live around here somewhere. Uh, the Shin home is on East Elm. This is West Elm. Oh, criminy! I see you're the piano teacher in town. You must know all about this fellow Hill forming a boys' band here. Yes. Well, don't let it worry you no more. I got the goods on him in spades. Swindling two-bit thimble rigger. That's why I gotta see Shin. I'm just passing through. Number eight only makes a 15-minute water stop. <laughs> Wish it was 20. Would sure like to focus five minutes on you, girly girl. Oh, all right. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cowell. <laughs> Anvil salesman. But just now, I'm out to protect the good name of this traveling fraternity from this swindler. Oh, Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Mistake my old lady's corset cover. That fellow's been the raspberry seed in my wisdom too just long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me, and he won't spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of piano teacher are you? You didn't see right through him. He's no more professor Oh, I knew all about that. Band leaders are always called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director and a scholastic... Now, wait a minute. Fine, director. Have you heard one note of music from any band? No, but... Uh, but nothing, girly girl. He's never formed a band in his life, and he never will. If you just listen to me for one minute. I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that, if I had the time. <laughs> 